How you tell? It's your girl Natalie, the one true diamond, coming at you with morning chit chat. Good morning, guys. And of course, I am what? Back to my old ways, running late. Yes. Oh, what? I mean, mm. I had gotten so good at one point, but then I'm stuck behind this big truck, and he's supposed to be taking the whole highway. He ain't supposed to be letting nobody have nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going right behind him. Mm -hmm. Y'all know how trucks do. They'll run you right off the road. But you know, it's like, he was just letting me. He was blowing the horn to blow that other car out of the way. That's what's so funny. So, um, so yeah. Um, yeah. And I just got a little text at my co-worker her car is not working <laughs> that means she's not at work and I'm not at work but anyway we don't have any patience I don't got any patience until 9 anyway so and this is my clinic so it'll be alright and then the one who usually makes coffee is not there today so I don't have time to stop and get my coffee. Which I can make coffee, you guys. <laughs> I don't, 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 don't get me wrong. I can make coffee. But when I know she's not going to be there, I just prefer to go ahead and get me some Dunkin' Donuts. There is a Dunkin' Donut right there. But I'm over here. And, of course, I got two minutes to get to work and I'm ten minutes away. <laughs> I need to set my priorities and order donor. But anyway, you guys, um, just glad today is Friday. I'm looking forward to the weekend. Just glad it's Friday. Um, we have the Mum Festival, but it looks like it's all rainy and dreary, and I'm not sure. I hope it's not that way tomorrow because no one wants to walk out and it's rainy and dreary. I know I don't. Um, yeah, and it's an outside event. So I don't want to do that. No, that's going to spoil the fun. But anyway, um, yeah. So I'm hoping that the sun will come out. I need to be like Annie. The sun will come out. Y'all know I can't sing. Tomorrow. So you got to hang on till tomorrow. I don't know why God didn't give me a voice. You know how when you don't, the gift you don't have, that's what you want? <laughs> because I'm telling you, I, I always wanted to sing, but never had a voice. Never had the voice. He just didn't give me that. I don't know. <laughs> he just didn't. I guess he said, no, you're not going to sing. I got other plans for you, my child. And singing is not going to be one of them. And he meant that thing because he didn't even give me an inkling of being able to carry a tune. I mean, he just meant that. He was like, you're not even going to fool yourself that you're going to sing. I'm just going to make it where you're just not even carrying a tune. Nothing, nothing, nothing even. So, I lip sync <laughs> at church and I hum. Isn't that something? But anyway, and everybody always say, oh, you look like you can sing. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> no, I can't. But anyway, hopefully the sun will come out tomorrow <clears throat> so that we can enjoy the Mum Festival. Me and my sister's going, my older sister, she's the oldest. I always joke about, it, about that. She's like three years older than me. I always say, every time somebody talks to us and we say, we're sister, I say, but she's the oldest. <laughs> That's our joke, she's the oldest. Anywho, um... She's the oldest, and she's always been the skinny mini. And now that she's getting a little older, she's putting on a little old age spread, and she can't stand it. I mean, she's always been the skinny mini. And I would always say, well, girl, why did I have to be the fat one? You know, she always was the skinny one, like size zeros, ones, twos, and threes. Here I am, big fat girl, 16s, 18s. Growing up, I'm like, why does she get to be the skinny one? I'm like, um, Jan Brady, like the middle child. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. And I'm like, <laughs> yes. 
why did she get to be the skinny one? But anywho, I still love me. I had to learn to love me. <laughs> and it was hard. It was hard. It really was. But anyway, I'm not going to digress to that. Let me tell you guys. Um, I heard on Instagram that um, the paper deal, because I found some last night too in my mom's area, wasn't ringing up 55 cents, it was ringing up a dollar and 37 cents. And so I told, I was, was going to, I said, I'm going to wait. I didn't even buy one because I didn't want to alert the staff so that they would tell others when they come in or they would get it for that price. Because that's a good price still for a pack of copy paper, $1.37. I said, I'm going to try and wait a couple of days and see if um, it will go down to the 55 cents. But I heard on Instagram that a manager said that it wasn't supposed to be marked down, that what it was was that it got caught up in the back to school markdown and that's why it was ringing up at that price so um i said i better go ahead and buy because a dollar and 37 cents not bad because you know that's what i paid i paid a dollar and something cent for it at target and i thought that was a good deal until i got the 55 cent paper and you know i just want to stack up for a while because you know we print a lot of coupons yes i do and then plus when i am teaching or ministering I print my notes out uh, um, and I use my notes I use paper when I'm speaking um, so yeah so it does come in handy I use a lot of paper so that would be you know so I'm gonna go ahead and get it and just stock up on it it's what I'm gonna do for a dollar and 37 cents you still can't beat that price it's still a good deal I would love to have 55 cents like I had before I'm not gonna lie to you I would love to have 55 cents but I realize that I might not get it at that, and so I don't want to lose getting it at a dollar thirty-seven cents. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and just pay with some ECBs or something. Okay. So, um, what else did I want to tell you? Oh, I don't know if it's still available, but on SavingVeda.com, she posted on her blog site um, about the Rachel Ray dish set, which I felt was a good deal. I didn't purchase it though, because I already got too many dishes and nowhere else to put it, which I could get rid and give some to. But I, I just got too many plate sets. I don't need another plate set but um it was on sale for $49.99 and then you were getting a $20 Amazon card so it's like you're paying $29.99 for it good deal for that plate set okay um and then also I heard up there that um just on Instagram that the um The pot set was going to be a Black Friday special, but we're not for sure. That's not for sure because it's not it's nothing in stone. They have not released their um, Black Friday ads out, but they were just kind of assuming and thinking that that would be the top pick. So we don't know. But if it is, I'm going to try to be all on it online. And I'm going to try to be all on it in the store. I'm going to try to be all on it. Somebody's going to do something. <laughs> yes. Hopefully, you know, because I want a new pot set. I wanted a tea file set. And I was in Big Lots last night, and they had the red tea file set. You know, I want to change my kitchen to red. So I almost got that because I'm like, why am I waiting on Rachel Ray? He always wanted tea file. I love tea file. I had a gray tea file set, but I have cooked that thing down. So I really do want a new set, and I would love to have this red set. And I've seen it at Big Lots. I think it was... $59.99, which is a good deal for t because it, it runs up there kind of pricey too sometimes. Not as pricey as Paula Dean and Rachel Ray, though, but it cooks just as good. It was cooking fine. <laughs> it cooked fine for me all these years, so, you know. Anyway, we'll see if the worst comes to worst, okay? And, um, what else was I going to tell you guys? Any other deals? Um, no. Okay. And I was, I'm going to church tonight, right? <laughs> There's a CVS in the area where I'm going to church at, right? So I asked my mom, I said, Mom, where's the, what's the address of the church? And I'll meet y'all there. She said, oh, no. We'll wait for you. You get off work and get dressed and come on and we'll wait. We all can ride together. And I'm like, they is not going to want to stop to the store. I'm going to want... I'm like distance. Love me where I'm at, okay? Love me where I'm at. Much prayer needed here, okay? I wanted to stop on the way. And you know how old folks is? They, they ain't gonna be late. They want to be there before the doors open, pretty much. So 
I um I don't know if I'm going to get to stop to that CVS and see if there's any deals or anything there. Okay. Um, yeah. So, I don't know if I'll get to stop there. Um, I don't know. I haven't heard of any more deals. I don't think or seen any more deals that's going on that anybody has posted. Oh, they're still finding some penny items at Michael's. I went to the Michael's and Mom's area. They, had some, they ain't got nothing better to do down there because the penny items were gone and i am telling you guys i am having a flash right now i don't know why i'm flashing in my head <laughs> did anybody out there that is in the menopausal age i didn't think i was menopausal yet but i think i am because i my ears are on fire right now and it starts in my head it goes from a and my head is just on fire. My ears are on fire right now. I mean, like, burning on fire. My ears are, oh, my God. Yes. Oh, my God, I'm flashing. So, um, do y'all remember when, I don't know if y'all remember or if your parents did it when you were younger. Mine did. They used to be, like, whispering about women going through the change and having hot, my face is on fire, you guys. It is on fire. But about women going through the change and menopause. And, and they would be whispering it like it was something secretive. So, I'm going to tell y'all, I thought it was something sexual. When they were talking about, you know, being on hot. <laughs> As a child and you're listening, that's what you think. And the way they're whispering like it's a secret. And I'm like, and when I got up older and really realized what it was, I'm like, why was they whispering I'm like, why was these women whispering about this? Like, going through the change was something sexual. That's exactly what they act like it was. But no, honey. This is far from sexual. <laughs> I'm telling you. My ears. And now they're starting to cool off some. Okay. Let me get into work. I'm already late now. I'm sitting here talking to you guys about menopause. And my perception of what it was as a child. But anyway. Just a little funny for you guys. Okay. How many of y'all thought the same thing when y'all heard grandma and mama and all them and aunties and mommy's friends and all them talking about it and whispering? How many of y'all thought that too? Was I the only ignorant one? Okay. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, y'all remember give God some praise, give him some thanks for waking you up this morning, starting you on your way, giving you a chance to get it right, you guys. Bye, and I will see you guys in the next video. If something hot comes up today, y'all know I'm going to let y'all know, okay? Talk with you later. Bye.